so I found this little spot here, this little clearing amongst the uh, bluebells. Look at that over there, absolutely stunning. But I think I'm going to set the hammock up between these two here, this hawthorn tree here, and then the other hawthorn tree there where my uh, pack is. But yeah, I noticed on the way in, there's been quite a few uh, down trees, a lot of storm damage. There's uh, this one here, and then there's a couple in uh, at the front of me here. Quite a few actually. Uh, see that one there. More over here. Obviously, looking where I am now with these hawthorns, it's uh, nothing there. It's going to cause me any problems. So yeah, it should be fine. Nothing close. Looks like it's going to come down anytime soon. I haven't got a, an under quilt, under blanket as such, so I'm going to try and improvise one with the Snug Pat jungle bag. Uh, I've uh, attached a bit of shock cord to the hanging loops on the foot end and a couple of lightweight carabiners. So and, uh, I'm going to use the draw cord at the head and just uh, secure it around the top here. Hopefully that'll hold it in place. Uh, give it a go. I've got a bit more shock cord. I need to secure it to the to the loops for that you normally use the under blankets with. But yeah, we'll give this a go. See if it works. Don't expect it to be as good as a dedicated under quilt, but should get some benefit from it. I'm going to cinch that right up, so I'm going to wrap that round there. And use the draw cord to secure it in place at the head end. Right, so all I've done it on the hanging loops. Bit of shock cord, it's got to be some give when you get into it. A couple of lightweight carabiners. So we'll uh, clip them on to the uh, ridge line. We'll see how we get on. So I'm using the same bag I used when I was in the peaks on my last video. Which, uh, like I said, it's a budget bag. It's the uh, Snug Pack Travel Pack 4. So hopefully that'll work well with this. So there we go, guys. That's the setup for tonight. All ready now. That's the jungle bag rigged up as a improvised under quilt interesting to see how that works snug pack four pillow shamag with a dry bag with just some waterproof gear in there that's all i'll use for a pillow got my tarp hanging over the back at the moment i've rigged out a couple of uh, guy lines just over there and there so i can just have a bit of a lean to when it starts to get dark but yeah just done the ridge line with a Truckers hitch up there. 
but yeah really liking this uh, whoopee sling system from DD really easy to make minor adjustments to the hammock so really looking forward to it time for a brew Right, so I'm going to make a bit of cheesy stick bread. Just going to use 100 grams of flour, 50 grams of hard grated cheese, mix all together and then add a little bit of water, get our dough base. Um, secret to this is just add a little bit of water at a time just to get the consistency right and put it on our stick. I'm using a, an oak stick, stripped it of all the bark and then we'll just put it uh, by the hot embers on the fire and leave it for about 15 minutes turning it. Uh, every couple of minutes so it's uh, golden browns all the way round and uh, it's done nice inside nice and light so get the flour in first let's say it's a uh, hundred grams of self-raising flour 
So it's all about keeping it as simple and as easy as possible for me guys. So while that's in there, I'll add the cheese. Like I said, the thing is just add a little bit of water at a time. You don't want too much and it's too sloppy. You can always add more. Just get a nice doughy mixture. Can get a bit messy, but it's all good fun. Mix. I think we need a, just a little bit more water, not much. See, we've got a load of dry stuff in the bottom still. It's not far off the uh, consistency that we want. So it's not that we need much. Do it. a few times so make sure we've got a good mixture and I'll break a few off for the dumplings for later I think we'll make three of these. And we're back in that. All I'm going to do with these later is just uh, get a mug of water to the boil, rolling boil. Just drop these in, I'll uh, drop straight to the bottom and then within a few minutes they'll start floating. Once they're floating, they're done. Just strain off the water, add it to your, uh, your main meal. There's two, I'll do one more and the rest can go on the, uh, the stick. Right, so there's my stick, like I say, I've stripped it of bark. So what we need to do now is roll this out. It's like a big like snake, and then wrap it around the stick. And then we go over the hot embers, and brown it off until it's done. Nice tasty snack while you're in the field. Try to get it about finger thickness, but it's up to you really. I find that works best doesn't cook too quick that'll do I just tend to do it in a complete spiral. We'll just 
squish it down a bit make sure it's not going to fall off there we go that's good to go uh, over the coals So that's about done. We'll take it off the fire, let it cool, and we'll see what it tastes like. It's cooled down a bit now. So we'll just take that off. You get a hint of the cheese, but it's still, still not a strong taste, not a strong flavour. It's all right. Cheesy stick bread. The dumplings in. Said they shouldn't take long. Dumplings are done drain the water off that can go in with a stone steak and then a bit of black pepper good to go mm, so that's done just got another mug of water going for a brew dinner is served Get to one of these dumplings. Definitely tastes better than it looks. Mm. I'm going to finish this. I'll speak to you in a bit. It's about 10 o'clock now guys, I've had my last brew of the evening so I'm going to turn in, in a minute and try out the uh, DD Superlight, uh, looking forward to it, I think it's only due to go down to about 4 degrees tonight, about 39 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, so it should be okay, I'm going to see how this uh, snug pack works, uh, the jungle bag for a under blanket in these temperatures, so I'll leave it here guys for tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's about half six now. And uh, slept quite well. Wasn't too bad. Really comfortable. Um, rained a bit uh, before I fell asleep. And I woke up about half four. Could hear a deer barking. Feet were a bit cold. Uh, I forgot my sleep socks. So I uh, just wrapped my uh, shamar ground down by my feet. And after about ten minutes I was fine nodded back off but yeah it was really comfortable uh, really like it enjoyed sleeping in the hammock uh, the jungle bag worked really well I uh, wouldn't have fancied uh, sleeping without that so I'll uh, I'll use that again and I'll uh, I'll keep going as long as I can get away with that but yeah I'm gonna get up now and uh, get the fire going again and uh, make some uh, coffee and some breakfast
I've had my brew and my breakfast, so all that's left for me to do is to pack up. So I'll uh, bring you guys back when I've uh, packed everything away and I've uh, tidied everything up. Uh, so uh, as if uh, you wouldn't even know I've been here. There we go guys, all packed away. That's where the hammock was laying, well across there last night. Uh, and over here, just there. That's where I had my fire. Pretty much left it as I found it. So I'll get my pack on. Time to head back. That's it, I'm all packed up, ready to head back to the car. I've got about a two mile hike back to the car. Always happy when I see the car, it's still there and it's not been damaged. So uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic trip. Really enjoyed the uh, the hammock, the DD Superlight front line. Absolutely superb, hopefully the, that's the first of many more to come. But uh, as always guys, thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Uh, and until the next time, you guys take care. I'll see you again soon.